Hey there YouTube, Logan's Homestead here. And today I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to cook up a little bit of dinner or lunch. Um, lunch is dinner and, and dinner, as most people call dinner, is supper around here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cook up some green beans. These are home canned green beans that I just love to death. These are some golden wax and some contenders. Just These are just the regular style green beans. These are the wax beans. They'll cook up the same, but I'm just going to cook a jar of each one. In here, I have a little bit of water. I'd say a little over a cup. I've seasoned it the way I like to do it. Is I take a little bit of this here Dale seasoning. I know it's processed, but this is one processed thing that I just, oh, I cannot live without. But I do not like processed stuff, but I do buy that. This is Morton Season All, Season Salt. I just sprinkle probably half a teaspoon in there. Um, don't put any regular salt with salt in it whenever we put it on our plate. And then I probably put a tablespoon of the Dells. You have to excuse the dishwasher in the background. But I'm going to open up these things. I store them without the ring on them. Um, some people do it to prevent rusting. I do it to, and that is not rust, by the way. That is water residue. It has nothing to do with rust. See that? Do you hear that? That's a good seal. I like to do it on both sides and leave the clocks right off. Make sure the lid is clean and always give it a sniff and it smells like what you canned, then you're good. Just pour it in here. I don't like to strain the juice from beans. Um, sorry for the lighting because the island got moved over. We moved the island over and uh, the light's not centered right above it. And I'm sitting here blocking the light. Open it like that. Feels good. Smells good. These are just two pint jars, or we can them in pints, I wasn't thinking, whenever I done them like that. But, um, okay, that's what we have now. I'm just going to bring this over to the stove. And uh, we're cooking pork chops, broccoli, and green beans. Put it on the burner. Turn it on. I got some grease here, I'll heat it up in a minute. We're going to be cooking up some pork chops right there. But uh, we'll be back in just a minute. I do not work for this company, but uh, I will leave a link. Okay, I'm going to make meat tenderizer. This is the seasoned kind. They have unseasoned as well. I prefer to use the seasoned. It gives it a good flavor and it helps tenderize the meat a little. Um, I do both sides really well. Um, press it down in there. I have my oil heating up on the stove. Um, it's just some sunflower oil, a little bit of leftover, a little bit of new. I'm just going to use some Morton iodide salt, iodide salt, not much. Well, this salt does not supply it. Uh, Morton salt, uh, it's supposed to be iodide, but it ain't. Coat it really well in the flour. You could dip it in egg wash, uh, you know, which is like an egg and a little bit of milk. And you could dip it like that and it'll help stick the flour better. It sticks pretty good. Get you another one in here. This one happens to be not be as thick salt, tenderizer, and do both sides really well. Coat it in the flour just like so and I keep doing this until I have them all breaded um, and I'm just laying them over in a plate and I have several more. I think there's about five or six more over there that I have to bread. But uh, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, I put the meat in here, uh, the pork chops. Put four of them and fit in my 12 inch cast iron skillet. Um, I put them in there about five, six minutes ago. Once it started to sizzle, now I'm just turning them. Just like so. I have the beans on boiling. And then I have, so I put on a bag of broccoli. This is not our own grown broccoli. Uh, wish it was, but I hadn't grew broccoli in a few years Whoops. Let me see the camera. and uh, we don't have any of that so I am planting more this year y'all seen that in the previous video but I got that it said bring to a boil three minutes strain and I think farm girl wants cheese on it so we'll be back in just a minute I have several more pork chops to fry and we'll see what's next all right I browned both sides of the pork chops and I picked them up and put them in a plate and cooked some more Beans are done, broccoli's done. It's good. 